Hi everyone. I know that this is not my usual type of video, but do you know what? I was looking at my older pantry video that I showed you and I've got to be honest, I kind of thought to myself, I can't believe that I have just shown them the complete mess that is my cupboards. But then I thought, do you know what? Somebody might actually get something out of watching this and realizing that, you know what, we're not all picture perfect and have, everybody doesn't have all the fancy boxes to put our stuff in. I say some people just have real cupboards and I'm not taking anything away from those people that have it in the fancy boxes with the labels on because it looks lovely. It does look lovely, but it's not for everybody and it's definitely not for me. So I thought that I would actually just show you a video of the real cupboards that I have, the real mess that I have, the amount of stock that we have in our cupboards that doesn't get used through, that I'm kicking myself for having so much. I say I literally pulled everything out. I gave it a really good wipe out in the cupboard and I only actually intended on starting with this cupboard. I just wanted to sort out my spices. As you can see, I've got a spice rack on the side. I've got a spice or a whole shelf pretty much of spices in the cupboard. And I just kind of wanted to get a little bit of order to them. And you would have seen, I brought a spice rack it was meant to be drawers and to be honest it turned up it was broken it didn't fit in the cupboard it I ended up dismantling it I took it off its runners and I've used it as best I can and it's actually it, it's done perfect you know what I mean it did what I brought it for I say I've now managed to organize my spices so that they're all in the cupboard which cleared me up some workspace on the top and I just feel like I, I'm actually able to find what I want with them like this so yeah I was really happy with it in the end I say we do still have far much more stock in our kitchen than what we actually do need and some of the dates are still a little bit questionable. I started with one cupboard that was all that I was intending to do however once I started I kind of I couldn't stop and I carried on going and I think when you get a mood like that where you want to be sorting things out I kind of just go with it because I never know how often they're going to come along so yeah we're going to ride that wave whilst it's there so I literally went on to the next cupboard I pulled everything out I ended up rearranging the cookbooks there was actually some stuff in the cupboard that really didn't belong in the kitchen cupboards there was medicine and there was vaping things um, I don't vape anymore. I say I, I've completely come off of that now. So yay. And that's not saying that anybody who smokes or any, I, it's none of my business. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, moving along. <laughs> um, so this is my baking cupboard and there is far too much stuff in here. I mean, I have Rolos, fudge, little chicks for Easter. I say there is just so much stuff in here that I buy with really good intentions. I don't always get around to doing it. I say there's popcorn here that we thought we'd do with the kids and we've only ever done it once. We didn't do the full bag. There's little googly eyes. There is just so much stuff in this cupboard. So I have decided to pledge to myself that I am going to stop picking up the baking stuff example look at all the amount of chocolate that is here for baking and this is not including the stuff that I have outside as well so yeah there is more on top of this but now that I've rearranged my cupboards I can actually see what is in there I know what is in there sadly I did have to throw out two bags of whole chestnuts that I had because they were no good at all I say they were very out of date but that's my fault for having more stuff than I can actually manage in the kitchen. And do you know what? Sometimes I come in my kitchen and I almost beat myself up because I know that it's unorganized. And I'm sure that you all have an area in your house that you're like, I want to get to that. I know that I'll get to that when I have time, but we don't always have time. And I say sometimes those jobs just keep getting put back and put back. And I think the longer that you leave them, the more we be beat ourselves up about it and the worse we actually feel about them and then it becomes an even bigger job than what we thought it was going to be anyway so yeah I just thought I'd show you my messy cupboards I'd show you that I am exactly the same as everybody else I do not have everything in order and I just 
I want to be real on this channel and I want everybody to sort of see it's not picture perfect. I am not picture perfect. I am exactly the same as everybody else. And please don't beat yourself up if you've got jobs on your to-do list that you have not got around to yet.